I think one thing that we will see a radical change in is business models. Historically, the pharmaceutical industry operates under a vertically integrated model, meaning you do research, you may take that product forward, you manufacture it yourself, you sell it yourself. And if we think about this from the perspective of other industries outside of healthcare, almost none of the other industries operate this way, or at least not for very long, right? As industries grow up and become bigger and more efficient, they tend to operate with many, many more horizontal businesses. So what's a horizontal business? Something like AWS, for example, where Amazon, and there are some competitors to AWS as well, but AWS is the name brand here. Uh, AWS provides for anyone that wants to sign up for it, access to server hosting capabilities. And you can think back not that long ago, 15 years ago, anyone who wanted to make any website had to host their own servers, but nobody really wanted to do it. Because uh, it was inefficient to do it that way, and you couldn't generate large economies of scale, you couldn't come up with novel innovations. And for many other industries, this is how things have operated, is to move into more and more horizontal businesses that can rigorously apply efficiency and optimization to the problem in a way you can't as a vertically integrated business because you're trying to do too many different things rather than get incredibly good at a single task. And so... I think in, in 30 years, we're going to see this trend change where vertically integrated biotech and pharma companies are becoming less and less the norm as companies learn to focus on different pieces of the value chain and become rigorously good, rigorously optimized on those areas and operate more as horizontal businesses in the vein of something like AWS or TSMC, as opposed to a traditional single business that does everything.